Good evening. A big and powerful earthquake, an 8.0 or larger, hit the South Pacific this afternoon. It was so big that it touched off warnings and a lot of anxiety over a huge area of our planet. An underwater event this large touches off an awful kind of waiting period during which mankind is powerless over the forces of nature. In this case, is a tsunami on the way or not? Here's where it hits, south of American Samoa, vulnerable bit of land about the size of Washington, D.C. Then the shock waves, of course, spreading out over a vast area. NBC's George Lewis starts us off tonight with the latest on what we know. George, good evening. Good evening, Brian. They're still counting the numbers of dead and injured at this hour. One official in western Samoa says at least 100 are dead, but that number could go much higher as rescuers reach some of the outlying villages that were inundated with water, sweeping people and vehicles out to sea. These are the first pictures of the damage from the tsunami. Coastal areas flooded, boats and cars knocked around by the force of the huge waves. The islands of Samoa and American Samoa are home to about 300,000 people. Immediately, the order went out for residents of the low-lying areas of the Samoan coast to get out of the way and flee to higher ground. A businessman living in American Samoa talked of losing one of his employees. A night watchman in one of my stores apparently has, uh, has died. He got uh, caught in the, um, in the water. From Washington, American Samoa's representative in the U.S. Congress said he'd been in touch with constituents at home. We do have fatalities and uh, severe damages, especially to the main town of Pango Pango. The owner of this hotel in neighboring western Samoa told NBC News that one of their guests is missing after the hotel took a direct hit. For a time, places as far away as the Hawaiian Islands were put under a tsunami watch. We are warning people, anyone on the beaches or in the beaches around 1 o'clock Hawaii time to get out of the water and stay away from the coast. Officials feared a repeat of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that killed over 230,000 people in 11 countries. That tsunami was from a magnitude 9 earthquake. Today's resulted from one in the magnitude 8 range. A big difference, according to scientists. A magnitude 9 produces about 32 times as much energy as a magnitude 8. The quake struck at a depth of 20 miles. Some of the eyewitnesses said it went on for three to five minutes, followed by a sequence of five big ocean waves. Brian? George Lewis in our L.A. Bureau tonight starting us off.